Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So in this video, I am going to create a series on interview questions which have been asked in automation uh, testing interview regarding Selenium. So question number one is, what are the annotations used in TestNG? So TestNG is the testing framework that we use in many of our automation framework. In TestNG, there are kind of uh, nine kind of annotations which we use, and these are at test add before suite add after suite add before test add after test add before class add after class add before method add after method and each of these annotations have different functionality for example add before test um, the piece of code written with this annotation will be executed before every test and this will be executed after every test and the piece of code with add before class will be executed before every class Similarly, it will be executed after every class. So each of these have uh, different functionality. Now the question number two is how do you read from data? Uh, how do you read data from Excel file? So suppose we have an Excel file uh, which is located at a particular location on our system. So and we want to uh, read data from it. So this is the method. First of all, what we'll be doing is we'll be creating an object of file input stream, and in the argument we'll be passing the location of the file where our Excel file is situated. Then we'll be creating a workbook using the workbook factory dot create class, and in this argument we'll be passing this file file input stream. Then we have to read data from a particular sheet of that Excel file. For that we'll be using the sheet interface, and we'll be using the get sheet method of workbook interface, and in that we'll be passing the sheet name. And then finally we'll be fetching the particular value in the string variable. So what we'll be doing is this is a reference of the sheet. What we'll be doing is we will be using the get row method to fetch the row number to like we we have to tell it that we, from which row we want to get the uh, data. So this is this is for giving the row number. Then get cell. This is for giving the cell number that is column number. And this method get string cell value is finally used to uh, retrieve the particular value. So suppose you have to uh, retrieve the first element in your uh, sheet from excel file so what so you'll be giving zero and zero here so this is the format uh, which we use in selenium to read the data from excel file now the next question is what is the use of xpath so in selenium we know that uh, we have to deal with a lot of xpath and we have to identify uh, sorry uh, in selenium we have to deal uh, deal a lot of web elements like uh, for performing different operations like clicking a particular button or entering a value in a particular field so we have to deal, about, uh, deal with a lot of web elements in selenium so xpath is basically is used to find the web element in a web page it is basically a locator we can say and it is very helpful to identify the dynamic web element the dynamic web elements like uh, the attributes of uh, those uh, the attributes whose attributes keep changing like every time we perform some operations so what is the answer? It is used to find the web element in a web page and it is very useful to identify the dynamic web element. Now the question number four, what are the different types of locators? So there are eight types of locators and all are static methods of the by class. Locators are used to identify the web elements. So uh, the eight locators are by.id, by.name, by.tagname, by.classname, by.linkText by.partial link text by.xpath by.css selector so how do we use it uh, use it whenever we create a web element so what we'll be doing is we'll be using the find element method and in the argument we'll be passing by.id and in bracket we'll be passing the id here similarly if we are using the class name here so we'll have to pass the class name of this particular web element <coughs> uh, i will create a separate video how to find these uh, ID names, tag names from the developer tool. Now the next question is what is the difference between assert and verify? So assert and verify both are used to verify the results while we are writing the test in Selenium. But what happens is when we are using the uh, assert and if any test case fail, then what happens is uh, the execution will stop then and there and uh, the further test will not be executed. But if we are using the verify, what will happen is if any particular test case fails, then it will not stop the execution. What happens is it will uh, move the execution to the next test case. 
uh, it will move the execution to the next test uh, you have written and then what will happen is when you you will see the final result you will see uh, the results of all the tests you have written and you will find the failed test case uh, that uh, uh, it will give you the result that it is failed so let's move ahead what is the alternative way of way to click on login button so we know uh, in uh, selenium when we have to click any button we will we use the click method but uh, in this question interviewer may ask you that what is the alternative way if you don't want to use the click method so we can use submit method but it can only be used when the attribute type equals to submit so when you suppose you have a login button and when you will open uh, its attributes in developer tool you must find its type equals to submit then only you will be able to use the submit method so you can mention this as well you have to mention this as well when you will be saying uh, that you can do alternatively using submit method now the next question is how do you verify if the check box or any radio button is checked or not so in selenium we have a few methods one of this is is selected method so what we can do is we can identify the element and we can use on that element is selected method here is the syntax driver dot find element by dot x path this is the x path of the radio button or checkbox and we can uh, call the is selected method so uh, it will return the value accordingly it will return true if it is checked and if it, if it, uh, it, it will return false if it is false now the next question is how do we handle uh, handle alert pop up in selenium so to handle alert pop ups we need to first switch the control to alert pop ups and then click on ok or cancel then move control back to the main page suppose you are working and an alert pop up comes so what we have to do is you have to first bring the control and that pop up then it will give you two options either ok or cancel so you have to click on it and then you have to move, move back to the main page so what we what is the syntax for doing this we have alert class in selenium we'll be using alert alt equals to driver dot switch to method is used to move the control to the alert pop up and switch to dot alert alert method is used to uh, move the control to the uh, alert pop up okay one main thing is that because at the end we have to get back to the main page so first of all we have to uh, store its control in a uh, like uh, in a string variable so first of all what we'll be doing is string main page equals to driver dot get window handle so get window handle is used to get the uh, reference of the window in this variable okay so my main uh, when i am on a particular web page if i'll writing this what ha what will happen is i will get a reference of uh, my open window in this main page variable then i have to move the control to the alert pop up so i will be using using this switch to an alert method then if i want to click okay then i uh, then i'll click on uh, accept method i'll be using the accept method and if i have to click cancel then i'll be using the dismiss method on this reference okay then move the control back to the main page so this is the reference of the main page what we'll be doing is driver dot switch to dot window and in the reference we'll be passing the main page okay so uh, just you have to remember this flow first of all you will be storing the very uh, reference uh, of the main page then you will be uh, moving the control to the alert pop-up and then you will be performing uh, the desired operation either you click ok or you click cancel and then you will back to the main page okay. so here uh, the key uh, points to remember here are using uh, alert class and using switch to an alert methods then the question number nine how do you launch uh, ie or chrome browser so in selenium before launching uh, internet explorer or chrome browser we need to set the system property so how do we uh, set the system property suppose we want to open the ie browser so we have we will be uh, set the system property like this system dot set property and uh, in the argument we'll be passing uh, this argument by web driver dot ie dot driver and here we'll be uh, passing the uh, path where the, uh, our driver dot file is located okay we have to download driver dot 
like for IE driver, we have to download its driver.exe file and here we'll be passing the, uh, its location. And then uh, we'll be using the web driver interface, web driver, driver equals to new Internet Explorer driver because we are, we have to launch Internet Explorer. So we'll be using this class. Uh, in Selenium, we know the web driver is the interface and these uh, browser driver, these are the classes which are implementing the web driver interface. Okay. So now if we want to open the Chrome driver, so what we'll be doing is uh, Chrome browser. So what we'll be doing is um, web driver driver is equals to new, new Chrome driver. And uh, while in this here, we will be writing Chrome and here we'll be giving uh, the, uh, giving the driver file of the uh, Chrome like uh, Chrome driver dot exe path of the Chrome driver of dot exe. So this is the method. Uh, now, how to perform right click using web driver. So here uh, we will be using the actions classes. Actions classes are used to perform certain operations and one of it is right click. So what we'll be doing is first of all, we'll be creating an object of the actions class and in the argument we'll be passing the driver. Then on this reference, we'll be call, uh, calling the move to element inbuilt method and uh, we'll be passing the web element dot perform dot perform. We'll be calling the web element dot perform method. This this will be the uh, element on which we are performing the right click. Okay. And then we'll be using the context click dot perform. So here two methods are important when it comes to right click. So we'll first you will be saying that we'll be using the actions classes and then we'll be using the move to element and context click. So first of all, you will be creating an object of the actions class. Then on, on that object, you will be calling move to element where you'll be passing the web element dot perform method. And then for clicking that particular element, after, because when you right click on any button, you get a list and you then uh, you may want to write a particular uh, option from that list for that you will be using context click dot perform sorry guys uh, this is only for the right click okay first of all you will be moving to that element we are uh, on which you want to perform right click and then you have to perform the right click so what for the right click we have context click dot perform okay Now the next question is how do perform how do uh, how uh, perform drag and drop using web driver so again drag and drop also uh, comes under the action uh, uh, class so first of all we'll be creating an object of actions class and then we'll be creating two web element one is source for source and uh, two is for the target like whenever we perform drag and drop we have to drag a particular element to a target to its target location for so what we'll be doing is we'll be creating the object of actions class then we'll be retrieving the uh, web element for the source and target and then we'll be calling this method act dot drag and drop and in uh, arguments we'll be passing this uh, source and target and then we'll be uh, calling the perform method so uh, this perform method uh, is related to the actions class and which has to be performed whether you are uh, doing the right click or you are dragging using the drag and drop uh, method okay so it's very easy now give the example for method overload in web driver so in web driver we have the example uh, when we use the frame method so in frame method as a reference like as uh, uh, in the argument we can pass a string we can pass int and we can pass web element as well so we can give like in frame methods we can use a method overload loading in we are using method overloading in web driver now how do you upload a file in selenium so to upload a, a file we can use the send keys method okay so what we are what we'll be doing is uh like uh, when we have to upload a particular file so to click is its uh, button what we have to do is we have to find element of that field that input field where we have to give the path so we we can simply use send keys and give the path of the file okay then <coughs> how do you click on a menu item in a 
ड्रॉप डाउन मेन्यू सो देर आर मल्टीपल मेथड्स सो द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज हाउ डू यू क्लिक ऑन अ मेन्यू आइटम इन अ ड्रॉप डाउन मेन्यू सो दिस इज डन बाई टू मेथड्स फर्स्ट इज इफ द मेन्यू हैज़ बिन क्रिएटेड यूजिंग द सेलेक्ट टैग दैन वी कैन यूज द सेलेक्ट क्लास एंड इन साइड द सेलेक्ट क्लास वी हैव थ्री मेथड्स सेलेक्ट बाई वैल्यू सेलेक्ट बाई इंडेक्स एंड सेलेक्ट बाई विजिबल टेक्सट सो दीज आर द एट्रीब्यूट्स एसोसिएटेड विद द वैल्यूज ऑफ ड्रॉप डाउन मेन्यू so first first method is using the select class and using these three methods and second uh, uh, method is if the menu has not been created by using the select tag then we can simply find the x path of that element and then click on that to select like we use like we do uh, with any any other web element so so the next question is how do you simulate browser back and forward so for back and forward we have navigate dot back and navigate dot forward methods in selenium that we can call then we have uh, how do you get the current page url so for that we have get current url method we can simply call it on driver reference then what is the difference between uh, single slash and double slash so the single slash and, and double slashes they are used in uh, writing the x path so when we use the double slash it is used to search uh, in the entire stru structure and when we use uh, the single slash then it is used to identify the immediate child uh i can explain this in very detail in a separate uh, video where we'll be talking about x path into detail now the next uh, question is what is the difference between find element and find elements so both the methods are the methods of web interface both are basically the abstract methods of web interface and used to find the web element in a web page so find element method is, is it is used to find the one web element it return only one web element type and find find elements it is used to find more than one web element it returns the list of all the web elements okay then uh, sorry the next question is how do you achieve synchronization in web driver so to achieve synchronization we will be putting the implicit wait so what it will do is it will wait for the text uh, 10 second before finding each web element it will wait for 10 second then only it will uh, move to the next line so here the syntax is driver dot manage dot timeouts dot implicitly wait and in the arguments we'll be passing the number of seconds we want it to wait 10 and the second argument time unit dot second so it means it will wait for the 10 seconds before moving to the next line so here it will wait for 10 second if while execu execution driver did not find the element in the page immediately this code will attach with each and every line of the script automatically it is not required to ri write every time because it is implicit wait just write it once after opening the browser so this is how we achieve uh, synchronization in web driver now the next question is write the code for reading and writing to excel through selenium so for reading we have already defined uh, uh in the previous uh, questions so for writing we can see like for reading we have to get a particular a particular value in the string variable and here we have given the row name and cell name and then we use the get string cell value and when we have to when we want to write something into this file what we'll be do is uh, we'll be retrieving this using the get row and cell get cell method and then we'll be we'll be call uh, we'll be using the method set cell value here uh, we can write whatever we want to write uh, in the file and then we have to create a file output stream and here we have to give the path of the file for reading we'll be using file input stream and for writing we'll be using file output stream then the workbook Uh, which we had created initially we have to uh, write uh, use the right method to save the file this this will be done by calling the right method on the workbook reference workbook dot uh, write and in bracket we'll be passing the output stream okay now the next question is how to get type text from a text box so suppose uh, there is a text box and he, uh, there something has been written and we want to get it retrieve it so we can simply use the get attribute value method by passing argument as value okay here we will be passing the value let's check the reference uh, sorry let's check the syntax so here is string text equals to type text equals to driver dot find element uh, dot py dot xpath uh, this is the xpath of the box that 
dot get attribute value so in this type text we will get the uh, type text okay then the next question is what are the different exceptions you got when working with web driver so uh, we get element not visible exception element not selectable exception no alert present exception no such attribute exception no such window exception timeout exception uh, web driver exception there can be more exception but uh, i think these exceptions are enough when you are giving an interview so um, you should tell him that you have worked on selenium and uh, received these many exceptions while working then the next question is uh, what are the languages supported by web driver so web driver supports python ruby and c sharp and java directly by the development team uh, there are also web driver implementation for php and perl okay then uh, how do you clear the uh, contents of a text box in selenium so we have a clear method to do that so we can simply um, get the element and use dot clear method and the next question is uh, what is a framework so here um, we have a proper definition of framework a framework is a set of automation guidelines which help in maintaining consistency of testing improves text structuring minimum usage of code less maintenance of code improve reusability non technical testers can be involved in code training period of using the tool can be reduced involves data wherever appropriate what is happening just give me a minute and then uh, we have different types of uh, framework um, uh, in automation so one is data driven framework then method driven framework then modular automation framework then keyword driven framework and then hybrid automation framework it is basically the combination of all three one two three means data method and modular so these are the types of uh, different framework uh, so here i am completing the part one of this series i'll be soon posting the part two of selenium interview questions series thank you guys uh, please like the video share with your friends comment if you have any questions and comment the feedback as well and subscribe to my channel. Bye.